first small dog to go then Sander is the handler Fanny is the dog's name working cocker spaniel gun dog of course uh, tomorrow gun dog Friday here always a hugely popular day at Crufts clear round in the jumping earlier on Sander and Fanny and looking to do the same here on you go Greg. yeah they've had a really good good year this year very successful uh, qualified for the championship final this is a lovely little uh, example of a working cocker spaniel just missed the uh, contact at the end of the dog That's walk probably commentators curse uh, no you're yes. all right you're all right you can say it's lovely it doesn't have to be perfect it does no but uh, you always feel sorry they, they practice and practice for years yeah. you know not years but months and months uh, and it's it's, it's mistakes as quick as that sand has done very very well yeah. and hopefully uh, he's avoided elimination just the five bolts so uh, he's still in with a shout there yep great shot judge in the perfect position five folks Donna Jarvey and pitch four-year-old Shetland uh, sheepdog first time at the event thrill to have qualified a Donna and pitch loves agility as well his agility and will let everybody know about it beautiful looking animal. I think we will see them back Hush again. of expectation. 7,000 for capacity here. There's certainly over five in already and filling up at every moment on the first afternoon of this wonderful dog show, Crufts 2024. Away we go with Donna and Pitch then. Through that Skoda jump, through the tunnel. Pitch losing no time at all over the dog walk. Perfect contact at the end of it too. Brilliant through the wheeze. This is good stuff. Where do you want me to go next? That'll be that'll be fine. A little bit of flicker of hesitation there, but went through the tunnel fine and the tyre. And sadly, an elimination after going so well for the first 30 seconds, Graham. So this is this dog's uh, first year, I think, or first time at Crufts. So the dog's learning all the time. Donna, um, compared to a couple of years ago, her confidence has risen absolutely immeasurably. She does a fantastic job now. And I think she's got two dogs in this final gym, or in this uh, agility section. And there we go. Unfortunately, just picking up the wrong side of the jump, which constitutes an elimination for taking a obstacle in the wrong direction. On the line next is Louise Godwin. She Louise Godwin from Gloucester, Drift, second in the jumping earlier on. Next, Collie Cross. So, good performance in the jumping. What can these two do in the agility? That's a good start. Great pace as well on the dog. Weaves, fine. Another tunnel. Time. All good. All good, and the time is thoroughly decent. Up, 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 up. Seesaw. That's gone the right way around that jump. This is really good stuff. We'll see them later as well. Finish off through that shoulder jump. 36.1 and clear as well. And we'll see him again because that is number one. Second in the jumping earlier, and at the moment, first in the agility. A combination to watch. Here we go, Rachel Ward and four-year-old Pecon. Cocker Spaniel, losing no time at all. That's about the quickest start we've seen, I think, from uh, Pecon. Oh, great start. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, just a, oh dear, wrong course there. That, That'll be five faults, and this round unravels. But you've got to go round and to keep it going. You never know. You never know. 32 seconds, the clock ticking unforgivingly away. Last three obstacles. A frame, and the Skoda finally. Yep, very unlucky there. It's certainly a very quick five. A little bit of confusion reigns here. The dog goes round. She's trying to do a blind cross. And then just a little bit of confusion resulting in that refusal and the five faults. This is Sky handler Liz Naylor. From Wixall in Shropshire, four year old working cocker spaniel. 
also a working gun dog, this one. Over the IMs right in front of us and that uh, Skoda jump as well. Oh, missed the end of the dog walk. Not the first dog to have done that and won't be the last either. Just the five faults, but the round still are very much alive. How about that seesaw? Bait contact with a white piece at the end. Perfect. Tight turn, A frame contact on both whites, and then over the shoulder jump finally. Again, a very, very competent round. Yep, there we go. Uh, probably one of the easiest decisions of the day, but the dog just letting you know how much fun he's had. Very nice pictures here. This is Hayes, six year old working cocker from Kinross near Perth. The handler, Charlotte Louise Yeeman. Very promising partnership, this. <laughs> Occasionally, just like to sit back and enjoy seeing these dogs at work, although it probably doesn't feel like work to them, does it? It feels like a really playful, enjoyable activity, Graham. It's a game. It purely is a game. <laughs> yeah. Repetition and reward. Uh, Charlotte uh, and this dog really uh, have had a really good 12 months. They are an evolving partnership, as I say, and I think this is just the start of their journey together, and I know she's got some other dogs coming up as well. So she'll be just looking to get a clear round. Come on then, Charlotte, Look, you can do this. Oh, yes, happy girl, happy dog. Happy girl, happy dog, happy crowd, and happy to claim second place as things stand. They will be back later in the day. She'll be over the moon with that. John Cates next with Elsie, a five-year-old Parson Russell Terrier. They're off and running. Elsie, Elsie five-year-old Parson Russell Terrier. John Clayton, the handler. Good to see a little Russell Terrier out there. Oh, that's, that's the way they go. <laughs> to go through the weeds. How did that go again? He, they have just as much fun as the bigger dogs, I tell you. <laughs> First time on the green carpet and enjoying every single second. Flawless so far. Come on, up over there, friend. Brilliant. Brilliant over the shoulder as well. A clear round. Second place. Brilliant for the little Russell Terrier. So there we go. Did you, did you see that? So it, the handler started the dog from the wrong side of the jump and sent it around. It's usually the case where the dog hasn't got a very good weight and they just want to gain an extra couple of yards. Very popular around that with the crowd here, Jim. This is Sizzle. Beautiful looking dog. Shetland Sheepdog. Uh, Karina hands the handler from four far up in Scotland. Team GB representative of these two. <laughs> Lovely dog who is uh, adored by her handler, Katrina. And I think the feeling is mutual. <laughs> Very, very satisfying so far. Crowd here willing this partnership on. Just a couple to go. A frame, fine, and the shoulder to finish. That's good. That's good. This is getting better and better now. Clear. 38 seconds, second place. Very nice. Made that look ridiculously easy and straightforward. Uh, but in that, we know it's not. Very experienced handler, Katrina. This dog is already an agility champion, but uh, still want to win this competition. This is Halo, nine-year-old Shetland Sheepdog, April Britton, the handler from Tishead in Wiltshire. Watching the small dogs here. And Crufts. See how calm she is, Jim, as you say, yes. making sure that she's... Uh, it's all about communication, so she's staying quite close to the dog. Uh, the only time she'll... Ooh, She'll. Yeah, unfortunately, I think that was. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that was. Well, it's an elimination. Yep. 
Yeah, it was the, at the end of the wheel. We'll, we'll, we'll clear that up, Graham, at, at the end of the round. But um, it was interesting there because her calmness or the, the partnership calmness sort of translated itself to the crowd. Everybody was watching in rapture and then sadly picking up another elimination. Go on, let's have another look so at what happened in the week. Let's just have weeds. a look and see if we can decide what happened here. So get to the end of the weaves. The dog turns right and then enters the weaves ah. again. So it did the same obstacle twice. That's where they picked yeah, up the elimination. OK, this is uh, Kari, uh, Donna Jarvie's second and dog, both from the Scottish borders. Six and a half years of age. And Kari's first time at Croft, an early five faults as well. And they're picking up another five. Just to remind you, has to make contact on the, the white sections of the dog walk. More problems going through the weaves, and the faults continue to rack up there. Now, I think Donna's, Donna's mind was on the uh, on the weave problems uh, and all the issues that happened before. Such a shame. She could have just held it together. 20 faults might have been good enough uh, for a place in the final, but unfortunately, not now. Not now, because the crossed arm signal that all of you know by now, no matter where you're watching, and I'm sure a lot of you on our YouTube channel, as you know, crossed arms means elimination, and if you are eliminated, you cannot take part in the final later on today. That's inexplicable. The dog running around that jump, all I can think is that, that the dogs are mistaking a signal for a go round for the back of the jump. But uh, there we go. Well done. Lee Harfield from Wantage yeah, in Oxfordshire Harfield, with fun, five-year-old Cocker five Spaniel, working five Cocker, five first five time at Crut. She's an awesome five little five dog. Let's see if she's five awesome five out there awesome in the intensity of the, the competition that we have here. So we've never, it's a rarefied atmosphere and it's a, it's a tough environment as well, performing under the lights with so many eyeballs on them. But so far, first 20 seconds or so, fun having fun and doing very well as well oh dear and once again i won't even bother with the explanation but the round will continue Graham. it it will as you say, there's a lot of people should to, 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 to get here you've got to win a championship class which are very hotly contested in the uk let me tell you so they've done fantastically well to get here but as you say there we go, just sending the dog round, unfortunately, picking up the elimination. On the line next is Ashley You're looking at Sully, Ashley Butler, the handler. Sully coming towards the end of, uh, of his uh, Crufts career, 11 years of age. Runners up last year, third in the jumping earlier on. And Ashley, really experienced. And we aim to go all the way in this competition. So we come walking, she said, walk onto that, that dog walk. This is good. Lovely style. Excellent first 25 seconds for Ashley and for Sully. They did a little bit of panto, these two, earlier this year, but uh, this is the real stuff. There's no one shouting who's behind you here. This is really, really good from the Ashley and Sully. Excellent stuff. They'll be back. They'll be back. 40 seconds and a clear round for Ashley and for Sully. Very nice. You can see she's come out and she's smiling to herself because uh, she had to do a bit of uh, improvisation there. She got herself a little bit out of position, but, as I say, her experience rescued her uh, and a great round in the end. Rebecca Shooter Smith and Bella, nine year old Shetland Sheepdog, first time in the main arena at Crufts, fifth year competing across, and her final year as well. So, the first time on the, in the big arena, just to see what they can do here. Not the quickest that we've seen, but uh, accurate so far, and that counts for a heck of a lot, particularly with all the eliminations that have been around.
So. Yeah, but if you can make sure that uh, your turns are absolutely spot on and very tight, you can make sure that you, you have a straight line between two obstacles, which is obviously the quickest route. You can actually pick up some time here. She's doing really, really well. Absolutely, and providing you finish inside that course time, um, that's absolutely fine. Just three to go. The A frame. And finally, that Skoda jump. Well, 47.9 and clear. That's into the top six, Graham. That'll do nicely. That, that was tight round there. Very, very well done. You're looking at uh, Selfie, three-year-old Shetland Sheepdog. Okay. Martin Reed, the handler, first in the jumping earlier today. And Selfie won the championship last year at Crofts, European Open individual winner at last year as well, and small agility stakes winner last year. This lot have a winning pedigree, this partnership. And already showing good form on the first morning, winning the jumping earlier on, picking up five faults at the end of the dog ball. Good though through the weaves that have been a little bit problematical for one or two dogs today. Grin flying through that tire. Martin all very close contact, really good. Yeah, good pause at the end uh, of the seesaw. The time is outstanding. 34, 35, 36. 37.0 uh, for, for Martin, and with those faults, that's good enough for a top 10 place. Yep, and a clear miss there, picking up the five faults, judging the perfect position to see what's going on. One of the best judges in the country actually going to be judging the European Open, which we're holding later on in the year. Joe Gleed with Sinner, two-year-old Cocker Spaniel, first time at Crux, really clever and kind. Sometimes lacks a little bit of confidence. We shall see over the irons in front of our commentary position. And then that shoulder jump as well through the tunnel. There's a tight turn there heading for the dog walk. Good contact at the end. The weaves in from the right-hand side and flying through those weaves is Sinner. Tunnel. No problem, tire, no problem. And the time is good, the round is clear. The seesaw, that'll be fine too. Couple to go, A-frame, up, down, this'll be good. Finally over the Skoda, 38.5 and clear. Top three, top three, excellent. Very, very nice. This dog, bear in mind, this dog is only two years of age, so she's gone from grade two to grade seven, and then she's won five, five classes at grade seven, uh, and she's only two. Uh, great future in front of them. Spider, eight-year-old working cocker, Lily Woodford, the handler from Gonthorpe near in Nottinghamshire. Made up to agility champion last year, got her five wins. Dog of a lifetime, according to Lily. <laughs> yeah, those cockers are a lovely sight in the agility. Oh dear, not that didn't look particularly great. And, uh, bit of a problem going into the weaves and crewing those ten faults, but still keep going because uh, there's not an elimination. He, so, again, they could be in with a good shout of being around for the, the climax of this competition. Because that's a quick round. That's a very quick round. 38.7. A shame about those faults, Graham. It was, and there we saw the uh, missed contact, and then the dog turns away from the weaves. If, in the judge's uh, opinion, the dog's in a position to do it and it doesn't, it constitutes a refusal. So we have. Karen Boardman on the line with Robin. This is Robin, seven-year-old working Cocker Spaniel. Karen Board Boardman is the handler. First time at Crufts uh, for Robin, qualified for both the championship and the singles. So, full of seven years of age. Oh, that's a noisy one as well. <laughs> it would be wonderful, Graham, if we knew what they were saying exactly, apart from, hey, I'm really enjoying every single second. I was going to say, just in case you were any doubt about how much fun this dog is having. Absolutely. It's going to tell you. It's having fun and it's going quickly and it's going clear as well. 25 seconds gone, zero faults. This is good. This is shaping up to get them into that final comfortably later on. Good last couple of over the A-frame, good over that Skoda jump, that's really good. 37.3 and clear, second place. Great time, really well handled.
very quick dog this i think there's probably a little bit more to come this is shaping up for a for a great finale later on this evening the penultimate uh, dog this one in the smalls it's jelly dylan osborne the handler five years old competes in the top grade grade seven current under 19 world champions as well just just settling settling down Go i think on. you need to say that again jim the current under 19 world champions absolutely fantastic uh dylan's also been uh doing judging as well is a great judge um this young man uh as i say just doing absolutely fantastic work to be world champion it's just amazing up and down over that dog wall then oh meant to go to the weeds took a different one that'll be five fourths over the good boy jump now and back through the tunnel through through the tire pace not a problem those five faults they they, they were they're not great but they might not be decisive up and down over the a-frame what a good time as well tremendous finishing over the shoulder 38.3 and the five faults just outside the top 12. yeah unfortunately just picking up the five faults there on the uh on the dog walk which you could clearly see and he lost a little bit of time with the refusal of with a turning away from the jump as well so really good time last of the small dogs then from holland kelly hugesake ace four-year-old collie cross always willing to work sometimes gets a little bit too vocal uh, says kelly four years of age it's all good it's all good the first 20 seconds sprinty kelly there to, to keep up with ace doing it successfully sadly an elimination an elimination again just when it all looks so promising so that means they are out of the final cruel cruel play yeah very disappointing she'd done the difficult bit uh, which was to push the dog around the back of the jump and unfortunately uh, didn't manage to uh, push the dog around the other one picking up the elimination so just checking the results uh, for you ladies and gentlemen the small it is section uh, louise karen and katrina Joe make up the top four and a result we uh, just to remind you we crunch these uh, results together to determine who will be back for the final a real climax to uh, day one to of Crufts 2024. Crufts competition manager Steve Croxford and co-founder of you move John Howie and we start with the winner of our agility championships heat in the small first of all with the fate of the furious at Vamonalu, Louise Godwin. And the winner of the medium with agility champion, Lee Bear Dream Come True, Laura Chapman. And now please give them a big round of applause. It's lap of honor time.